to you by Midway Dental and Catapult Education. Today, my guest is Stephen Otis. He is the Director of Sales for Healthcare Solutions. And I'm going to be getting into a great discussion with him, but I can't tell you how timely this is based on the latest news out of Washington. So yesterday, it was brought up by a prestigious scientific panel to the White House that research now is showing the coronavirus can spread not just by sneezing and coughing in aerosols, but potentially just by talking or breathing. And this is quite new and it's quite startling as the as Fauci's going through whether masks or not masks and there are societies that have been wearing masks and maybe showing lower trends, this becomes unbelievably timely for today's discussion, but also further in the news. According to Dr. Harvey, Harvey Feinberg, who is the chairman of the committee with the National Academy of Sciences, while the current COVID research is limited, the results are available and have shown consistency with aerosolization of the virus through normal breathing. So this is another shift. And, you know, it's like every time I come on the show, there's more information. He said, and I quote, he will wear a mask and he will wear a mask when he goes to the grocery store. Not a surgical mask, but a mask. And he said, if you don't have a mask, wear a bandana or something to cover your face. It's not trying to cause hysteria, just common sense. In addition, research out of China has shown the virus can be suspended in the air even when the doctors and nurses are taking off their PPE. So now it's suspended in the air. Equally, they've shown that when the floors are clean, that you can actually be stirring the virus and, or even when the staff is walking around, which is gonna get even more interesting when I talk to Stephen. In Nebraska, the research has shown that the virus in a patient's room is well beyond the six feet, which is the social distancing range. Feinberg also noted that this disease is not as infectious as measles or tuberculosis. And I go, gee, that's, that's great news. The amount of virus that can circulate really is depending on how much of the virus is being exhaled and how really uh, contagious that person is. The last thing I'll comment on, and it really pertains to Stephen, is that if you're in an enclosed room, and this is what, why we're doing social distancing and no more than 10 people in a room, is if you're in an enclosed room, the aerosol within that enclosed room could become heavily contaminated. So with all of this new news, it's time I bring in Stephen into the discussion. You're gonna understand immediately because he represents a series of companies and one in particular that really has a state-of-the-art filtration system and far more than that. Welcome Stephen to the show. And I'm gonna get right into it with you. Tell us a little bit more about this company in Ireland that you represent, founded in 2008. They've been well at it. Kind of go into what, you're, what, what the company's all about and the product itself. Thanks. Very good, thank you, doctor. Uh, our company is comprised of uh, two separate divisions, all under the Well Air banner. We have Novaris that I represent, and that's our uh, portable units. We have three different models. And then we have the plasma air side that is the uh, system that's placed in an HVAC system for a whole uh, hospital solution, so to speak. Different technology, different types of plasma technology, but um, we have HVAC as well as the, the portables. That's all under the uh, uh, banner of Well Air. Well Air was started in 2008. It's an investor-owned company, uh, all Irish. The product is de uh, was developed in Ireland and purchased by this group, and we have patent pen we have patented uh, the technology, and we are the only ones in the in in the world 
that can sell this type of plasma technology. So Stephen, if, um, if, could you kind of go into, you know, not in great depth, but a little depth of why this plasma sure. technology is unique? Well, it's almost simplistic, but it's very, very uh, complex in what we can do. The, we use plasma technology, as I said, but we use low energy plasma technology. And as the air is filtered through our machine and the air passes over these plasma coils, that bacteria, virus, particles, it doesn't make any difference what size it is. As it passes over the, the plasma coils, it is destroyed to the DNA level. It's not minimized. It's not uh, lessened. It is destroyed to the DNA level. So the beauty of the company is all the lab results that we've done since 2008. So when we came to the U.S. recently, we, we have a bevy of uh, information and, and independent lab studies on bacteria and virus, including the, the COVID-19. So with this research, you, you mentioned a couple of key things. Many of the systems out there, even and they may be purifying the air or filtering the air, they really don't mm -hmm. destroy Correct. the particles. And the other thing is, is because these particles are small, they can get through systems. So your, your product deals with both of those issues, does it not? Absolutely. Uh, the people that use HEPA filters, we use HEPA filters in our uh, uh, Novaris 1050, which is our, our very large unit that can cover 4,000 square feet, and it's uh, made specifically for uh, really rapid uh, remediation. And, but that, but, but the, that's a much larger. But the key to it is. Yeah, sorry. Oh yeah, th that's a yes, doctor. That's a much larger product. Uh, for for your space, it would be the NV two hundred and the NV nine hundred. Now go into those, but it's it's very simplistic. HEPA filtration, infrared te technology, all the things that are out there have been out there, and they do a good job, but they don't m mitigate the air. They don't disinfect the air. So in essence, we yeah, so disinfect essence, the air. Sorry. So in essence. You're really mm -hmm. talking about disinfection. That's exactly what it is. That's that's our tagline. Very good. And uh, we disinfect the air. And and as we talked earlier today, we're talking medical grade everything that's coming out of your factories. Is that correct? Correct. To the point that uh, we did file our five ten k in the U S. Uh, in January. So uh, once that is. Once we garnish that uh, FDA approval, we will be a medical grade product just like you buy a ventilator, right? just like you buy a heart-lung machine. And the point to that is all of our studies, all the work that these people have done for all these years are coming to fruition um, because of what's happening right today. You know, uh, this time last year probably wasn't important that we were a medical grade and we could do all these things. Now people are clamoring. And this virus will be around for our lifetime in some form well, or shape. And if it won't be this virus, it'll be another virus. And so I think it, two important yep. takeaways, Stephen, is if a doctor's building a new office today, they may be thinking of a new type of filtration system that you would offer for mm -hmm. the entire office in new offices. But for many of us, we have our current offices with certain designs. So I want to get into what we can do today. Okay, so let's say you've got an open bay office. In, mm -hmm. in, in discussing with the open bay office, what we're kind of dealing with, you kind of walk me through how Midway and their team could almost FaceTime you and walk you through each office and create custom layouts of how to almost over purify their air. Let's walk through that for the, the attendees out there. What would be the process of a midway technician or representative walking out and kind of FaceTiming you? What would you be looking at? I've actually done four different facilities the last two days okay. with our, uh, our, our midway partner. Great. Th theoretically, we all want to be on site. I mean, that's where we are. We're salespeople. We want to be on site. We walk through the facility and we, sh and we show them exactly where we're putting it. We have to do it electronically. 
So I get a blueprint from Midway and we walk through the facility. That's a half wall. That wall goes all the way up to the ceiling. Right. Because when I tell you, doctor, an NV200 covers 120 square feet, it's designed for a single room. Right. And the NV900 does 1,250 square feet. If you're a physician, you go, oh, my office is only 2,500 square feet. I only need two of those. No, because air doesn't go through walls and doors. So it's very important to customize yep. every system that we put out there. And I love overlapping. So, for example, uh, think of your hallway going down to, on the left-hand side, open rooms. Uh, I put uh, between four, let's just say it's four rooms. I put a unit, an NV900, on the wall 16 to 18 inches from the ceiling uh, between one and two. And that covers not only those two rooms, but the hallway. Because people walk, and you're exactly right. They bring up things off the floor. So then I put yeah. another one between three and four. So I, I think it's... Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, Stephen. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead, doctor. So I think one of the takeaways is this, is that if we're going to start really protecting ourselves and our patients in this new norm, you almost have to go through each office has to be customized in a layout with your system such that everything is protected in the entire office, that there shouldn't even be a neutral zone without protection. And I think you would agree with that. 100%. Okay. And that, that's yeah. the key to walking, th that's the key to walking through electronically online or in person, uh, hopefully this summer, that we customize the system for that particular physician. And we, and we, we have three different products so we can easily do it but we, we want to overprotect the area than underprotect it. Right, and um, I get and that. These, and these systems, yeah, and these systems are designed never to be turned off. I, you, once right. they install, you, you flip a switch, they're on for 24 hours a day, seven days a week for 365 uh, days. And they're, and they're warrantied for three years. A little bit of maintenance, very, very minor. Other than that, you want to turn that air. You want that air crossing those plasma coils. And honestly, when we do a, a facility, a dental office, it'll be cleaner than his house. I, I hear you. So I think it's important everybody realizes this is on 24 seven. So that gets me to my next question. I've got three or four patients in my office. They're leaving. Yes. My team is doing the OSHA scrub down now, absolutely to the detail. Mm -hmm that Tracy and Carson have talked about on previous episodes. Okay, here's the bottom question. With this circulation of the air ongoing, is it safe to bring the next patient in in the next five or 10 minutes after they've done all their, you know, sterilization of surfaces, of, of surfaces and they've mm -hmm. done the wipe down? Is, is it safe for the patient to walk into the room then? The reality is once they've cleaned all the flat surfaces, that patient can come in the room because we're never off, we, uh, we circulate the air. We have studies, um, we, we won a prestigious um, um, contest, I guess you'd call it, where we uh, were chosen and we did a, um, a study in the UK and over a 90 day period, they took 8,000 different swabs. I'll send it to you if I didn't already. And um, it showed, because we say we clean the air, but what happens is the air is cleaner and then they swab, you know, they, they took their swabs right. and what they found out with our systems, that the surfaces were cleaner because the air is cleaner, less is falling to the, the surfaces. So as soon as those surfaces are clean to the satisfaction of the, the dental office, that patient can come in and it's, it, it can, you know, they just have to do the hard surfaces and we do right. the air. So I, I, I'm going to say this, I think, Jeff has really done his homework at Midway finding you and, and Midway bringing this to their clients. I know I've ordered one for my isolation room. At least I can see patients in my isolated room until I can get my entire office covered. And I am sure that's where many doctors are going to be standing in line to get this system. Now, that being said, we also talked about what the company's now having to build in China based on right you, you got to get you got to start producing big time 
So why don't we close on what's going on that happened in New York with approval, what they're building in China, just to show the global response of this company and what they're trying to do. Well, in, in China, we, we um, received uh, the, the declaration that we are the vendor, the only vendor for air pur purification uh, qualified to fight the, kill the coronavirus. So we, when they buy a, a unit, they're buying our unit. To the point, the reality is, if we just built product, we would just service China. Um, if right. Their need is so great. So what our CEO did a couple of weeks ago was they, you know, they made an agreement. China is building the product uh, in China for their own consumption. So they're building our products to our specs. We obviously can't go over there and see, but they're building it to right. our specs. They're buying product from us. We're shipping it over. They're putting it together for their consumption. And once that, uh, that plan is up and running, it'll take some burden off of the rest of the world. Because remember, this is a pandemic. We have customers literally in every corner of the of the yeah. globe. Uh, right now, um, they're building they're building uh, uh, seven days a week, eighteen hours a day, right. taking it down and cleaning and starting back up. Um, we are on a, a three three week back order as we sit here today uh, for product, I, and we yeah. do it by purchase order. And as the purchase order comes in, if a doctor buys two, he's in line. If somebody else buys 250 and the right. doctor's purchase order came in for two, that two goes out before the guy's 250 right. goes out. We thought that was the and, fairest way to do it. And Stephen, I'm just going to say this as I close this segment. Midway knows their doctors need this. Midway also knows. Yes. And, I, and honestly, I've seen pricing and I think honestly for the technology, this is reasonable and relatively priced, but offices, as they get back on their feet, Midway's gonna come out with opportunities that you literally can afford this. I, I, as a distributor, they are all in. So I think you're gonna be yes. hearing a ton from Midway Dental. I'm probably gonna have you back on the show just to talk a little bit more about the specifics, but just tell your company, I want them working 10 days a week, not seven. <laughs> <laughs> I think if they, you know, they are Irish, so they, maybe that leprechaun will come out and help oh, us. Okay. You just I, never know. I love it. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, our audience okay, really appreciates you your time. Me. Thanks, Stephen. We appreciate it. And we appreciate Midway. Thank you. So let me be clear. We want to hear from you. We want to hear your questions. So what we want you to do is we want you to go to education at midwaydental.com. Shoot us your questions. We'll go right to the experts. I know I'm not the expert, so let's go ask the experts what we should be doing as our next step next week, the week after, and thereafter. I look forward to hearing from you.